I'm not going to live life or you shouldn't live life with kids or dogs that just go, no, I'm not doing that. And you're like, yeah, but you have to, like, you have to go to school. No, I'm not. Or that a growl is a threat. Okay. You can't live life with dogs and kids like that. But how extreme do we get? That would be the question. All right, this is my third video with Bear, the Malmute. My most popular video ever, about a year ago, when Bear was one, he came here. I, I diagnosed him perfectly in that video. He's now back a year later. I did a video with him a couple days ago. Now this is the third total video with him. Since my last video, he has growled at multiple people, including me. I called the owner and I was like, hey, is this normal? What are you doing? Because I'm like, how do they deal with this, right? I can deal with this. How do they deal with this? And she's like, yeah, he'll sometimes growl, but if you just kind of stand there, he'll eventually go do his thing. If he needs to go into a certain room, you just kind of back him down, which is exactly what I was doing. The owners and me were doing the exact same thing. He's been jumping on a lot of our trainers, jumping on their backs, doing a lot of smelling, a lot of not bad stuff, a lot of not great stuff. Now, here's the thing about bear. Is Bear growling, but then eventually me just standing there and going, I won't do it right now. And being like, go to your room and Bear looking at me and then growling and then going to his room. Is that the hill, our hill to die on? My hill to die on? No. Bear isn't biting anybody. Bear isn't doing anything that warrants me getting hardcore with Bear to let Bear know that I am the ultimate boss in life. He, he has not done anything that deserves that. Okay, and I'm out here doing this with you because I want you guys to see if something happens, nothing, if he growls or if, that's just, that's obviously not a growl, right? That's a Malmute, whatever. What are you gonna do? Are you a good boy? Is Bear a good boy? And he's such a good dog. He's such a good dog. Oh my goodness. He's such a good dog like you see now that we're not gonna get all gnarly with him and be like, don't ever question the boss. And you shouldn't be all, don't ever question the boss. If your dog, it's just his personality. Bear has what's called pure dominance. It is not aggression. It is pure dominance. Has almost nothing to do with aggression. Now he's, it's what time is it? I've talked to you about the witching hour, right? Seven at night, as the sun goes down is generally the thing. It cools off, Malmute like him. It's been warm all day, now it's cool, now he wants to go. The witching hour is when they get nutty. So we might actually see like him be like, no, Joel, I'm not listening to you. At which point am I gonna go, I'm gonna slam you on your side, Bear. No, I am not gonna do that. But Bear also is going to listen to what I say. I'm not gonna live life, or you shouldn't live life, with kids or dogs that just go, no, I'm not doing that. And you're like, yeah, but you have to, like, you have to go to school. No, I'm not. Or that a growl is a threat, okay? You can't live life with dogs and kids like that. But how extreme do we get? That would be the question. And with Bear, it's not very extreme because eventually he does the thing you wanted him to do. He just does it begrudgingly and there's a little growl in there. But when you, when you like think about dominance, you gotta, you gotta think, do I, how far do I wanna take this? Am I such a macho, strong person? And I'm not, I'm not even saying that that's the worst thing ever, right? Because maybe you don't know. But there's moments when you, when you don't need to fight that battle. Bear is one of those dogs that's gonna do stuff that seems really bad, kind of. But it's not the worst thing ever. Because Bear has never bit anybody. Bear likes people. You see his little play thing there? He's got this play side to him. But there are moments, I, I told him to go in his room yesterday and he, sat there and he stared at me in the eye and he, and he growled at me. And I backed him down and I said, I don't want to do it. He, he's, there's obviously nowhere he can go. And I said, go to your room. And he growled and I walked into him and I stared at him like I've talked to you about in videos. And he looked at me and he growled right in my eyes. And then he went, put his head down. Then he went to his room. Then he looked at me and growled. Do I need to be like, knock it off dog? No, he did it begrudgingly. Okay. All right. Let's go down to the pool area. Sit. Stay, I want you to see my demeanor with Bear. Can you close the top gate, please? I want you to see my demeanor with Bear. So it is one of seriousness, but it is not 
It's not hard, but it's serious. I talked to you with those two American Bulldogs down in that area about energy and how you look at them and how you talk to them. Bear doesn't mess with me. Bear messes with other people constantly, my trainers included. He does not mess with me, really. I mean, he did that little growl thing, but he knew what was up and he put his head down and he voluntarily went into a thing, went into his room. Bear, sit. Stay. Okay, there's our good boy. There's our good boy. Okay, so that is Bear the Malmute. Let's see if he kind of does anything here. He's just doing his thing. I hope that that helps you. Pure dominance, what is it? How do you deal with it? You deal with it with um, your energy. You're not messing around. You're also not some dictator who the dog can never express emotion to. I have three kids. Like I think it's a big deal, especially with boys, to be able to let them get some, get some like frustration out, get mad at their dad, okay? I think it's really important for kids to do that to a point and I like to let them do it and you can go too far with that. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's a big scratcher. Oh, he's a big scratcher. What have we talked about scratching, right? Now, if this guy starts lunging and jumping on me, we're gonna have a problem, okay? And I'm gonna grab him and he's gonna feel my energy. And I'm gonna sit his butt down. And then, then if he growls at me at that point, which is very possible that he does, then, then I'm not gonna let him go until he stops growling, okay? Oh, he's wet now too. There was a little run into my leg right there, not a bit. By the way, this isn't the growling we're talking about. We're talking, we're talking about, that's our good boy. We're talking about real growling, not play growling, okay? All right, let's just keep, the, let's keep it running to see if anything happens. Just attitude. This dude's got, he's, he's dominant, he's got attitude. And my point, if he doesn't do anything to me, my point is kind of saying like, like he, he, I am different in his eyes than most people in his life, than most people he just meets. And that's important for you as the viewer to know. Bear, oh, there's our good boy. There's our good boy. If he, by the way, when your dog like him runs and if they just go to run right into you, I bend my knees, I bend my knees and they run directly into me. They'll d d directly into my knee and they're the one taking the hit. Okay, that's kind of a dominant move. All right, that's the video. Bear, pure dominance. That's it.